Hi everyone, we are going to uh, Karen working on a hip hop backing and work out how to make a riff. So I want you to click here. If you're not on this page, go to your library, and click here, go to mix editor. Now we're going to create a riff and a riff is a repeated pattern of notes and we're gonna make a riff that is high pitched and a lot of hip hop music has a riff somewhere, sometimes it's in the bass, sometimes it's in a higher instrument. Um, and we're gonna create a riff which is inspired by Lady Leisha's uh, quarantine speech. So if you haven't heard that, go and have a listen to that on YouTube. The first thing I'm gonna do is add a track and uh, I'm gonna add instrument again. And first thing we wanna do is pick our instrument, so uh, I'm going to go here. I'm not going to pick piano. I'm going to try out some different sounds that I want you to hear. So I've clicked on synth leads and I'm just going to pick a few. That sounds okay. Um, I'm not sure. Let's make it higher though because as I've said, I want our riff to be high pitched. So Okay, so I think this is quite high pitched because uh, I've brought the octave up to four. Let's listen to another one. No, I don't like that one. Um, octave four. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one for now. And I might make it even higher to octave five. Now I'm gonna solo this and I'm gonna solo my drums. because I don't wanna be influenced by my bass line. Okay. So what notes am I gonna to use to make my riff? Well, firstly, it needs to not be too long. I think it's gonna be two bars long. You could make it just one bar long, so just this square, or you could make it two bars long. Um, because a riff is a short, repeated pattern of notes. You have to remember our keywords. So the notes that I'm gonna let you use are going to be N, J, which is a black note, which is B flat, N is A, comma, and Q. Okay, now I'm also gonna give you the option of a W as well. Now in Lady Alicia's um, quarantine speech, she doesn't use this note, but she uses these three, these four notes. Okay, and that's A, B flat, C, E, F. That's what she does in her, in her, uh, in her rap. But what we're going to do, we're just, we, we can also use the W. So I'm gonna model a few ideas. Okay, let's just practice with our metronome on and our loop on. This music repeats over and over again. Okay, well I'm inspired by Lady Nisha, but I'm gonna try and come up with something. Mm. Played the wrong note there. Okay, I've got some ideas, so I'm going to record a couple of ideas for my riff. What I've decided to do is not make my riff syncopated. I've decided to make my riff on the beat. And we're gonna come back to that in a minute. It's up to you. You could try and make your, your beat syncopated, which means off the beat. But I'm gonna make mine in time with the clicks and on the clicks because it's on the beat. I'm gonna show you more about what that means in a minute. So let me record. Okay. Do I think it could sound better? No, it's a bit too high, let's go. Okay, come on. 
Let's go. One, two, three, four. Uh, played the wrong note already. You right click and you delete it. Okay, let's go. Okay, that's okay. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to try another riff. And that one's quite long. It's longer than two bars. It's four bars. Well, okay, let's bring my loop here. I'm going to loop my drums so I've got more drums to work with. that okay let's try that we'll try again and try and play more in time I'll bring this here okay this one's a bit shorter um, and I'm going to make it two bars, one, two. I'm going to just put this over here and then I'm going to listen to my three riffs and try and see which one is better. And this time I think I'm actually going to play the Lady Leisha riff because that is a really good riff. Okay, I've learned that. So N, comma, Q. If you want to play it, just follow the notes that I'm playing. Record, two, three, four. to really think about playing in time with the pulse. Okay, so I've got three riffs and what I'm going to do is I'm going to quantize all three of them to start with. So you know how to do this. You double click. I'm going to zoom out this time and I'm going to draw my box around this and I'm going to press quantize and you can see it moving side to side. I'm going to draw a box. I'm going to press quantize. I'm going to draw a box and press one time. Okay, done. Let's hear the three riffs. Okay. okay, that's in time as well. This one sounds like it's a bit out of time. Let me listen to it. I'm going to zoom in. Always zoom in when you think something's out of time. Let's listen again. Yes. This sounds a bit late. So I'm going to move it very carefully to the left. I'm going to make sure that it starts on a line. That's always the rule when you've zoomed in this far. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, okay, I need to pick my riff that I that I like the most. Um, I think I'm going to pick the Lady Leisha one because I do prefer that. I'm going to put my ideas here because I don't want to forget them. I'm going to put that here. I'm going to double click on it. Um, and then I'm going to check that it is on the beat. So, beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four. Beat one, and this is bar two, beat one, beat two, beat three, and then there's nothing for beat four. And I said I wanted to make it two bars, and you can see it's one bar, it's slightly longer, so I want to make this a bit longer, so it's absolutely perfect, two bars. So that's how you know if it's on the beat. If I had this moved to here, that would be off the beat. Listen. This note is syncopated, and I've just decided, partly because I've been listening to the Lady Leisha Quarantine speech, that I would prefer to have it on the beat.
Okay. And it's high pitch, which means it contrasts. Now, I'm going to have a listen to it. I'm going to loop it first, electronically repeat it. I'm going to see what it sounds like with my other parts. I'm going to turn this up a bit so I can really hear it. I think that note has got wrong. I moved it up by accident. Let's try again. I'm happy with that, I think. I'm not 100% sure about the instrument, so you could um, keep on finding an instrument or you could find two instruments to play your riff. So that is how you create a riff, a short, repeated pattern of notes.